Hey everyone, this is Guy Aitchison. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are here with uh, tonight with uh, Alex Gray, the legendary visionary artist, to talk about a big project that he and his wife Allison have uh, going on right now. They're creating a uh, this incredible visionary art temple, uh, the Entheon, and they are uh, going to Kickstarter using social media to try to uh, uh, crowdsource this whole thing. Um, now, uh, Michelle and I have known Alex and Allison for a long time. They've uh, actually been to a number of tattoo events. Uh, some of you may have been fortunate enough to see them uh, painting with us in Philadelphia once. Uh, they uh, were recently at the Paradise Artist Retreat uh, down in New Mexico, which is an incredible event. Uh, a few uh, tattoo people showed up at COSM uh, when Michelle and I were the, uh, there last summer for a, a visionary tattoo event. So uh, yeah, we've we've uh, been watching this dream of theirs sort of materialize over the last uh, 15 years or so, and um, it's really at a critical moment right now. And um, Alex, I'd like to thank you for being here for this interview. Um, and uh, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about the Entheon and about visionary art and everything else. Thanks so much, Guy. I'm really excited to see you again and uh, uh, to share with the audience about the new Entheon Kickstarter project we have going. We, we just dug out the um, little... Uh, these little treasures, I think we have about 10 of these left. Uh, they're a book that Allison and I did when we were, uh, well, pretty young, in our 20s. And uh, the, um, it was about 1978. Uh, let's see. That was right when we were, we did, it was kind of silly stuff, you know. But uh, I don't know whether you can see me or not. <laughs> yeah, oh, perfectly. Yeah, I can even read the book from here. Oh, there you go. Well, I can't see myself. But uh, it's kind of funny, but it's, uh, we, uh, we're all always naked. And uh, it was a, a little book that we uh, put together. We, we didn't. Uh, leave the one in that said uh, we love LSD for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we did add uh, uh, things like, uh, you know, a little bit like uh, this, which was slightly strange. And uh, then, uh, of course, Loving the infinite unknown. Anyway, there, uh, it was the year 1978 that Allison suggested that we create the sacred mirrors. And so for me, it's a, a kind of a testimonial from that time. And now to see everything growing uh, so amazingly, and for uh, Entheon, I, I really think this Kickstarter thing's going to work. It's it's been unnerving, I have to say, but uh, the enthusiasm of uh, so many people has once again made this Kickstarter thing just an, an enormous, amazing uh, tool for funding creative projects. And I really thank you guys for giving us a bit of a forum to share about it. Sure, thank you for joining us here. It's it's great to have you. Uh, we're excited to have such, uh, you know, well-respected artists as you and Allison uh, visiting us here in our, our uh, online network that we're actually going to be doing a Kickstarter thing for very soon ourselves. It's a kind of cool to have this new resource to, if, if you've got something that you think uh, a base of people are, will get enthused about and want to see happen, 
uh, you can now reach out and say, help us make this happen. And we'll give you some cool memento of some sort. And, you know, being artists, uh, we, we can come up with some cool stuff for people, you know, uh, some unique T-shirts or whatever. And, and uh, uh, it's amazing how enthused people get. I mean, I'm, I, I think it's great that there's such a, a, a base of patrons who you wouldn't think of as patrons in the traditional sense because they don't have that kind of bread, uh, but they still feel it. Yeah, and they're able to dream with the creators of these projects and imagine a future where this project exists. And would they like to be part of it? And so they'll buy a ticket to a place that doesn't exist yet. And I think that is like the chapel of the future. You know, we have to create it with our imaginations first. And it is a, a full on kind of crowdsourcing of sacred space. And it's something that's never been possible before. Yeah, on such a worldwide uh, uh, basis. And so it's kind of like world spirit is building Dantheon, you know? 